Hey guys, what is up? And today is going to be another batch tutorial. Now, in today's tutorial, what we're going to be covering is how to make a basic load screen slash animation. And in this example, it's going to be a sequential load animation where each letter in the word loading comes up one at a time. So first, I'm just going to say echo L. Then I'm going to say ping localhost minus n2 over null. I'll explain what this line of code does a little bit later. I'm just going to say echo lo ping localhost minus n2 over null echo l o a and just to speed things up i'm gonna copy that and paste it echo l o a d echo l o a d i echo l o a d i n and finally echo L O A D I N G. I'm just gonna hit pause, save as. As you can see, it's doing what we want it to do, but not exactly because we want it to show up one at a time and not come up like that, where it's showing L then L O L O A like that. So what we're gonna do is after each ping local host, I'm gonna add. A clear screen finally right there as you can see this is much more how we want it to be where it's coming up each letter one at a time now you can do some fancy stuff with colors for example I can set the color to 1a here and then let's say after it shows load, I want the color to change to 7D. Save that. As you see the color changed, and after the eye comes up, it changes again. So now the structure of this code, how does it work? So think of it like stop frame animation. We're showing one frame at a time. So think of everything before the ping local host as a frame we want to show. So we want to show an L, we want to show an LO, an LOA, etc, etc. Now what ping local host is doing is it's pausing the code for a set duration of time. So right here, two seconds, we can make that the duration, whatever you want by pinging the local host or pinging your computer. And so how this is working is, so we're going to show an L, we're pausing the code for two seconds, we're clearing the screen, setting the color to 1A, then showing LO, and so on, and so forth, throughout all this code. Now, you get really fancy with what you're doing. This is pretty basic, but you can go on, for example, something like text.aasciart.com or uh, picture.aasciart converter and do some unique stuff. And that is going to be it for today's tutorial. Um, thank you, uh, Coder Stats Nation, for helping us reach 500 subscribers. Um, it's a big achievement, especially for a small YouTube channel. Uh, please make sure to rate, like, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.